Bismillah Rahman Rahim. In this session, we will discuss uh, uh, topic on uh, momentum for IGCAC and whatever students. And uh, uh, for this uh, topic, I have uh, using uh, Hodder's education book uh, for all level physics. And uh, now uh, put this into practice. Uh, we have some. Uh, problems and uh, for example this first problem a trolley of mass 3 kg moving with a velocity 5 uh, meters per second collides and join with a stationary trolley of mass 2 kg and uh, two move off together with the same velocity v assume momentum is not lost in the collision calculate the velocity value of v this velocity so this m1 is equal to 3 kg and m v1 is equal to 5 meters per second this is given the mass 1 and v1 is given and the initially with a stationary velocity joined with a stationary velocity and the stationary velocity is 0 of mass 2 kg this and uh, assuming the momentum is not lost and it moves together so this so the momentum before collision is this so this 3 kg moving with the velocity v1 5 meters per second and the second mass is at rest 0 meters per second so the momentum before collision is 15 kilogram meters per second and total momentum after collision is 3 kilogram plus 2 kilogram into v it's because this both are moving with the same velocity so this total mass is 5 kg into v so the momentum is not lost in the collision so the 5 kg into v is equal to 15 kilogram meters per second before collision and after collision is same so the v velocity is 15 divided by 5 is equal to kilogram will cancel and this meters per second so voltage uh, velocity will be 3 meters per second after collision a trolley of mass 5 kg moving with a velocity 5 meters per second collide with the station a trolley of this stop and trolley moves off with the velocity of this assuming that not is not lost so this is the same problem uh, So this is another different problem. So this a trolley of mass 5 kg moving with a velocity 5 meters per second collide with a stationary trolley of 2 kg. The 5 kg trolley stops and the 2 kg trolley moves off with a velocity v. So this 5 kg it is strike with the small mass of trolley 2 kg and it stops and this 2 kg moves off with the velocity v assuming the momentum is not lost in the collision calculate the value of this v so at this case we have this uh, m1 velocity uh, mass is 5 kg and the velocity of this mass is 5 meters per second and the second trolley the second trolley of mass is m2 is 2 kg and the velocity and its velocity is at rest initially so this is zero and trolley two moves up with velocity v after collision so after momentum it is not lost in the collision so the so the total momentum before collision is this equal to 5 kg into 5 meters per second 2 kg into 0 meters per second and the, the second one is 225 uh, this is 5 into 5 is 25 kilogram per uh, meters per second this is momentum before collision and that momentum after collision is 5 kilogram and this becomes stop and this 2 kg moves with v velocity so 2 v kilogram per meter second uh, since the momentum is not lost so this 2 v kg per meters per second and this 25 kg meters per second are same so this velocity is 25 upon 2 is meters per second so 12.5 meters per second is the velocity this 2 kg will move with 12.5 meters per second for conserving the collision so for conserving the momentum so on page uh, test yourself on page 56 what is the momentum in kilogram per second for a 10 kg truck traveling at 5 meters per second the truck is traveling with a 5 meters per second this mass is 10 kg so 10 kg with 5 meters per second is 50 kg meters per second uh, 20 centimeters per second so 20 centimeters is equal to 0.2 meters per second 10 kg into 0.2 meters per second is 2 kg meters per second 36 uh, uh, kilometers per hour so the velocity is given in 
kilometers per hour so this convert into this uh, 1000 by 3600 so make it meters per second so that is 10 meters per second so this 10 meters per second is obtained uh, through a uh, proper way this 36 meters how this 36 meters converts to this 10 meters is shown here and this is 10 meters per second momentum is 10 kg into 10 meters per second is basically 100 kilogram meters per second so this a ball x of mass 1 kg traveling at 2 meters per second has a head on collision with an identical ball y at rest this ball mass 1 kg and the second ball y has same mass 1 kg and with an identical ball at rest the ball y is at rest x stops and y moves off what is the y velocity the ball x of mass m 1 is equal to 1 kg and velocity is 2 meters per second head on collision with y ball identical ball mass is mass is 1 kg and it is at rest position before collision and after that x stops so its final velocity becomes 0 and y moves off so y velocity is v so momentum before collision m1 u1 m2 u2 this is 1 kg 2 meters per second this is 1 kg 0 meters per second this is 2 kg meters per second momentum after collision m1 v1 plus m2 v2 so 1 kg into 0 meters per second plus 1 kg v upon uh, v meters per second so this is 1 kg v meters per second so so the so the collision is uh, uh, elastic collision and so momentum is not lost so so this momentum after collision is 1 kg v meters per second 1 kg v meters per second is 2 kg per meter meters per second before collision and after collision so this should be equal to this one so this is v so v can be calculated as v meters per second is 2 kg meters per second upon 1 kg so this kg kg will cancel and 2 meters per second so velocity will be 2 meters per second for this what uh, a boy with a mass 50 kilogram running at 5 meters per second jumps onto a 20 kilogram trolley traveling in the same direction at 1.5 meters per second what is their common velocity so a, a boss with mass 50 kilogram running at 5 meters per second jumping on a 20 kilogram trolley so this uh, second mass is 20 kilogram traveling in the same direction at 1.5 meters per second so this m1 u1 is a, uh, 50 kilogram into 5 meters per second 20 kilogram into 1.5 meters per second so this is 250 kilogram meters per second this is 30 kilogram meters per second so it becomes 280 kilogram meters per second momentum after jump is equal to m1 v1 plus m2 v2 is equal to v1 plus v2 is equal to v so this m1 plus m2 into v so 50 into 20 kilogram is equal to 70 kilogram into v so this is uh, 70 kilogram into v is equal to 280 kilogram meters per second so v is equal to 280 kilogram meters per second divided by 70 kilograms so this 70 kilogram 20 280 kilograms will divide with this 70 kilograms so it gives 4 meters per second thus the collision velocity is 4 meters per second so a girl of mass 50 kilogram jumps off of a rowing boat of mass 300 kg on the bank with a horizontal velocity of 3 meters per second with what velocity does the boat begin to move backward the, so the m is equal to 50 kilograms so u1 is equal to 0 v1 is equal to 3 meters per second initially it was uh, 3 meters per second with what, what velocity does the boat begin to move backwards so m2 is equal to 300 uh, uh, kilogram so the rowing boat is at rest so velocity of the boat is begin to move backwards so momentum before jump is equal to m1 plus m2 is equal to u is equal to 0 the so momentum after jump m1 v1 plus m2 v2 is equal to 0 and since momentum ups conserve the jump after momentum after jump is equal to momentum of the girl uh, falling into the bank and backward momentum of the boat so this is uh, 0 so 550 kilogram into 3 meters per second 350 kilograms into v meters per second so 
this 350 kilogram v meters per second is equal to fifth minus 50 kilogram into 3 meters per second so v is equal to 150 kilogram meters per second divided by 350 kilograms so this 350 and 150 divided by this so it gives 0.43 meters per second so this is the velocity which will be in the backward direction with which velocity does the boat begin to move backward so the boat will move with this velocity with very very small velocity so test yourself and on page 58 a force of four, 5 newton is applied to a cricket ball for 0 0.04 uh, 2 seconds calculate the impulse on the balls so the 5 newton force is applied on the cricket ball for 0 0.20 seconds impulse on the ball has to find so this is uh, f is equal to m a m v u minus delta t this is acceleration so m v minus m v minus m u divided by delta t so the impulse is f into delta t so f is 5 newton and the force is applied for this 0 0.02 seconds so the impulse is 0.1 newton second so m u is the initial momentum m v is equal to final momentum so this min initial momentum and final momentum difference is delta m v and this is uh, this uh, momentum change in momentum is delta p and this is divided by delta t so this uh, resultant force is equal to change in momentum in the time taken so the change in momentum is equal to uh, change in momentum is equal to resultant force into time taken so that resultant force is 5 newton into 0 0.02 second so the resultant is 0 0.1 newtons second in a collision, a car of mass 1000 kg traveling at 24 meters per second comes to a rest in 1.2 second. Calculate the change in momentum of the car and this, the steady stopping force applied to the car. The change in momentum, so the car of mass is equal to 1000 kg. Its initial uh, running velocity is 24 meters per second. It suddenly stops, so its final velocity is 0 and it stops in 1.2 seconds so delta t is 1.2 the change in momentum of the car is m v minus u delta divided by delta t the change in momentum is equal to m v minus u so this is this is uh, m v so 1000 mass and this change in velocity is 0 to 224 so this is uh, 24000 kilograms meter second the change in momentum is basically 24,000 kilograms meters per second the steady state stopping force applied to the car is f is equal to mv minus u divided by delta t and this is 24 so divide by this delta t is 1.2 seconds so this exerting force is 20,000 newtons so the negative sign indicating the, the stopping force this the force is trying to stop the, the uh, car so this is in the negative direction because it is a retarding force it uh, now we will cover this uh, rest of the topic in the next